Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody, with your host, Lon Paul. It's today's anomaly mission. It is Friday, November 3rd, and we're going to see what the anomaly mission has in store for us over at the Nexus. And I'm uh, going to get this quick recording done and talk a little bit as well, as we usually do in these weekend updates. If you, I guess that's what it could be called. It's not just an anomaly mission. It's also a weekend update. So for those of you who heard last time, COVID is still running rampant in my household. My uh, both, I've had my two youngest kids have had it. Now my wife has it, so uh, she's slowly getting better. Strangely enough, myself and my two oldest kids, nope, haven't shown one sign of it. Very very odd. So I'm really not sure what in the world is going on and why I haven't gotten it yet. I am immune. I am an uh, a carrier, and yet not showing any, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, asymptomatic, I guess, maybe, is another possibility. I have no idea. Very, very odd stuff going on here. So we're here in the anomaly. Um, I have multiplayer turned off because I was doing some stuff earlier in another gameplay. So you won't see anybody floating around this time. It's going to stay steady. All right, let's see what we got going on here in the Nexus. As you can see, the, uh, the uh, weekend video, weekend video, the weekend mission is up there at the top. So that means it's present and ready to go. Let's see what we got. Looks like we're supposed to unearth ancient bones. Hopefully the mission will not change along the way. Uh, we get a circuit board. We get 347 nanites plus the 1800 Quicksilver. So let's go ahead and start our mission. All right. Display. There we go. Restless Ancestors, it's called. And let's... Get this off my screen so I can get in my ship. There we go. On our merry little way. So yeah, strange. I haven't got it. Haven't gotten it. Don't know why I haven't gotten it. Three and a half years running. Who knows what's going on. So, you know. Who's to say what might happen? But we're taking good care of the kids. Getting good care of my wife. Make sure everybody gets on the up and up. It's been a mild case of it. No loss to sense or smell. High temperature usually for the first day, at least for the kids. My wife maintained that temperature for like two and a half days, but we're a little older, as you might imagine. So that might have something to do with it. Anywho, moving along, where are we headed? It looks like the planet is there. All right, bone-rich planet, it says. Now, I don't think we have to head to the exact coordinates that it shows us on the planet, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Interesting looking system. That place has a little red moon right around it. That's pretty interesting. It looks like a storm might be going on right now. Fascinating. This planet is super critical. Uranium, which means we're going to have... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, radiation damage. So make sure you have a radiation shield for this planet. And atmosphere, here we come. Excellent. So my occasional nose sniffle myself, but it's also that time of year where there's a lot of allergies and stuff like that, so. But hasn't really affected me terribly. All right, so it looks like we have a little mini settlement here. A campground, if you will. I'm going to see if I can find someplace a little bit better. Uh, what do you know? Exact same thing. There. Okay. And that looks like it's about it for us, right? Okay, good. Looks like somebody's already dropped a communication beacon. Great. Let's just go a little further. I'm going to get closer over here to this water. And I'm going to do one more scan. If I don't find anything, we're just going to go ahead and land. It looks like we're just going to land. Okay. This looks like a good, a good, uh, as good a spot as any right here. You love the sound. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so position not saved during the Nexus mission. Don't forget that. You die, you have to start all over again. Okay? No, not your whole entire game. We're just talking about the mission itself. All right, so what do we got? We got uh, two week for distance estimate. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem is finding these bones, apparently. But your best option, since I have to collect 12 of them, is just to just get a move on. Just start running. I haven't found a better way to find bones in on any planet, as far as ancient bones are concerned. 
You know what you could do? What we could do is pull in a pet. There we go. We're gonna ride this pet. Let's take it for a ride. Okay. We'll pull our ship in later. I'm just gonna turn around because I have her facing the wrong way. And she's the fastest ride we've got. So I could pull in Exocraft if I want, but to be honest, I believe this bug is faster than any Exocraft I've got. And the best part is, I can scan from up here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to use my bug to get where I need to go. Now, you can turn off the run for just a second. Recharges real quick, and then you can just keep going. So this is probably the best bet. Still too weak. So we're just going to keep going for now. Remember, you got to have that radiation shield to protect you. All right. So I'll be doing some more videos this weekend. We will not be... We will not be doing any streaming this weekend. I do a lot. I do streaming every other weekend. So this is my off weekend. This weekend is for me to work on videos and get caught up on stuff. I'm probably going to put out a few videos this weekend. I've got a project in the making. A couple projects, actually. One is going to be regarding settlements. Um, someone wants to... I've had, I have a, had more than one person suggest, hey, we don't really have a very good settlement beginning to end, how to, you know, upgrade it and everything like that, it can get a little boring. So what I would, I would have to do is I'm going to have to find a settlement on a save and then step by step record every step of the way and basically pause the recording in between in order to find certain things. Man, this planet is really, really weak on this stuff. I am not finding anything here. This is really, really odd. But anyway, that's my first endeavor. My other endeavor is to do a nanite video. I know, I've already got a couple nanite videos, right? I've got the, you know, but what I want to do is we do a lot of math. We, we keep, we sit there and we estimate uh, how much we're going to get after playing for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But what we're going to do is I'm going to do an actual one hour long video on nanite farming against Sentinels just to see how it goes. Now, I will likely speed up the video. I'm not going to let you all suffer through one hour of me uh, slaughtering sentinels. Yes, I like that. Slaughtering sentinels. That's pretty good. Isn't that great? You can even charge while you're sitting on your bug. Still too weak. Something's not right here. Is there no bones on this planet? Let's go in a slightly different direction. I'm going to head differently. Now, you can't fly over water with these guys. Just keep that in mind. It really wants me to go to the left. So I'm going to continue on to this left here. Still too weak. I am. And here's the thing. is You can toggle the speed. You don't have to hold the button down. So as long as you're heading in a particular direction, you don't have to hold your buttons down. She'll just keep going. Up and down, up and down. And then it recharges again. See? Pretty neat. So, yeah, the nanite video, like I said, I'm going to speed it up. And I'm going to do a quick speed video of it. Of me, you know, playing through it with a timer and everything like that. So you can see how well we do. We're, not, we're only going to pick up barrels when necessary. Until we get to the very end. I'm going to make sure my inventory is completely cleared out of any barrels. Of any uh, broken glass or anything like that. It's all going to be gone. You know, something uh, something tells me there's a problem with this planet. Does anyone else see there's a problem with this planet that we're on right now? I mean, we're almost ten minutes into this video and I haven't found one bone. Still too weak. What, there's only one bone on the entire planet? Alright. I think we need to quit here. And let's go see if we can find something. Something's not right. 
Oh, now you're going to tell me this bones. Alright. We'll give it a shot. Come on, Tropy. Let's take a look. Um, well, that's weird. I think we just found ourselves a bug. I can't scan for bones anywhere around here. Okay, that is very, very strange. Not, uh, not atop my pet. That's a first for me. That shouldn't be happening. Let's try something here real quick. I'm going to see if it's just that pet, or is it any pet? Uh, something I can ride. Yeah, that might be pretty good. Okay. Interesting. So you can't see anything from these. That is fascinating. I mean, it, this one I can at least at least see. This guy's much slower than I thought he would be. Okay. Dismiss you. Very very interesting. So we're just gonna keep running this way. So that's interesting. You should have been able to see it. That might be a bug. I may have to report that. Because you can't... You should be able to see any... Features in the landscape... From your pet. Should be no reason why you can't. So, yep. We'll get that reported. Not a big deal. Crap happens. Possibly they may not even realize it's it's a thing because not too many people do it except for, you know, people like me. People just get pets for the aesthetics of it. I get it for the usefulness of them. Alright, so it looks like we got three bones here at least. Uh, let's see. Let's really clear out the space, shall we? You can always use this, the uh, silicon. These are standard bones, nothing special. Also looks like a standard one, nothing special. Look around real quick, you might find another one. I don't see any. So it says that there's more that way, but that's too weak to find. Do I believe it or not? Makes me wonder how many I might have passed over while I was on my bug. Nice to have a pretty decent uh, jetpack, though. Eh, have it. I always grab oxygen when I run past. In case you're wondering, the amount of sodium, uh, oxygen I'm getting is usually due to the fact that this is a normal save. Not a permadeath one. There it is. Alright. run right there on that jetpack run. There we go. Alright, so we've got three. We need nine more. I don't know if there's more than one here. I think there might have been two, but I could be wrong. Now I have some upgrades on my jetpack here that not only allow for kind of a faster, a faster, uh, a longer jetpack trail, but you can see my running takes forever to deplete. So, really serious charging against that, so. Okay, we are there. We're in a new region. That usually means there might be stuff around here, too. Alright, I see... Looks like one. Maybe two. There's a, there's a second one over there. Okay. This looks like a standard one. And also a standard one. All right, and no others around me. Next one is that way. All right, we got up to five. 
Let's see if we can get to 12 rather quickly here. I didn't want this to be more than about 15 minutes. You pass that up. See? Another region. More campgrounds. Alright, looks like we just got the one here. Also standard. So that's six, right? Okay, looks like we got some over this way and some a little further that way. Good deal. So we might be able to get this taken care of rather quickly now. Looks like we finally found a decent area. Alright. Now, of course, if you're newer to the game and you have it, don't have a lot of supplies yet, these planets are really good on finding things. Scan the animals. You'll probably be able to find all the animals here. See, I've got it. And uh, in that case, you'll get a nice nanite bonus. Okay. Yeah, this one's an expensive one. Ancient bone, 770 years old. You'll get some good money out of that one. See, you won't have to turn these bones in. You just got to show them to somebody. And it's good to hang on to this stuff because you will get some decent cash for it. Like this one's got 556,000. So, yeah, definitely worth the time. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got the other one right there, 500 blocks away. There we go. Just taking a look around, make sure I don't see any others floating around. Okay. We're at seven. We need five more. It'd be great that we could find five here, but. And I have been known to find five, six, even seven of them in one site. Occasionally. It doesn't happen all the time. Obviously. Done it ready. There we go. Just had to get up that last hill. <laughs> okay, this one it shows one. There might be two. Two, there we go. All right, just the two of them. Okay, looks like a standard one and a special one. 863 years old. How much is that worth? Let's take a look. 594,000. See, you already got a million credits right there. So we're up to nine. I need three more bones. Okay, looks like we got some right here. 670 and 950, so we'll be able to get the rest of them right now. Let's recharge. There we go. And we're on our way to the last one. Whoop. Hit that. Almost had it. Jump thrust is your is your friend when you're doing these kind of runs. Jump thrust. Let's get up to the top of the hill here. There we go. Try to stay a little bit closer to the ground, though. You go a little too high, could hurt yourself when you come down. And if you're on a permadeath run, psh, good luck with that. You won't kill yourself, but it could hurt. Another way to get rid of some of those pesky guys that like to attack you like that is to just destroy the ground underneath them. We're at 10. Next one is right there. That looks like one. Okay. Let's go to that one. We need two more bones. Not bad. So we were at 15 minutes before we found the first one, and in four minutes we've already got 10 more. Got 10 of them. So that's pretty good. Whoa, like these rocks that procedurally generate right in front of my face. Couldn't be two. Had to be one, huh? Okay. And we should have one more. 500 blocks away. Let me just make sure there's not something closer. It does not look like it. Okay, well, that's going to be it then. Either one. Just choose one. Thank you. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop complaining. Talk to my lawyer. Here 
your food with legs, okay? That's all you are to me right now. I know, that's a bit mean. I'll take one of these, thank you. Ah, didn't find this site earlier, right? Now, you don't need to collect all three, we just need the one. But you know I'm going to collect all three anyway, so this is a special one. Rare item, 708, so it won't be as worth much. That's okay. And final one. Also rare at a thousand years old, so that's pretty good. We didn't get a super rare one, so let's check to see what we got. It's only worth 232,000 or something that's 300 years older than this one. And these guys are worth 100 each, just about. That's not bad. Very, very odd, though. Oh, I got nip nip buds on me. I forgot if I had those. Gotta be careful. Wow, look at all the animals. Yep, I'm gonna check them out just because I can. Anyway, it looks like they have 13 animals on this planet. So if you're wondering, again, if you're new, you, if you can find all the animals, you get a 3200 nanite bonus for finding them. So it would be worth doing it if you, if you want to do that. All right, so let's pull in the ship. <laughs> I left my launch thrusters at zero. Oh my gosh. My ship is, let's see how far away it is. 13 minutes away. You know what? We're going to shorten that time right away. I don't want to register my companion. Thank you. That didn't even sound like. Let's see how much time we can shave off. Get myself turned around. Where's the ship? There's the ship. It says... It says I just left my, my uh, mount because I had to hit a stupid button. There we go. So, let's get turned around so we're facing it at least. So we were at 13 minutes, right? Look at that time drop, my friends. 13 minutes would put us at, we see we're at the 22 and a half minute mark now, so that would put us at about 35 minutes. Let's see how fast we can get there. See how fast she goes? Yeah, 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 I know. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. So let's talk a little bit more. You're going to watch for video tomorrow. We're going to have our... I do have a regular permadeath run I do every Wednesday. Not permadeath. It's permadeath story mode uh, version that I do every Wednesday. So please watch for that on Wednesdays. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to try to get a couple of the videos out this weekend. Um, I have decided I'm going to do a no starter ship challenge. Um, I've already got my live stream, which I'm doing the fugitive challenge. So I may do kind of a regular starter ship challenge, no starter ship challenge just for the heck of it, you know, and I'll start doing a series of those as I go, go by. Cause I, I know that that's kind of a liked item. So. We'll go ahead and do that. Look at that. We're already back to the ship. We're already back to the ship. Look at this. So instead of taking... It took us literally two... A little over two minutes. Not even. Two minutes to get back to the ship. With my pet. Not bad, my friend. Thank you very much, Tropy Tropy. All right. And we're back. And maybe while we're here, maybe we should do something. Like, fuel our launch thrusters, shall we? Dummy. <laughs> About the dumbest thing I've done in a while. Alright. So we have to stop. We're gonna scan. Whoop, wrong button. 
and we're looking for where we're going to bring it. It's probably going to be on the planet somewhere. We just got to wait. Oh, it's over here. No, it's on a different planet. All the way over there. Let's head there. Interesting. What kind of planet is that? Rainy planet. Copper, paraffinium. Okay, nothing special. High sentinel activity. No big deal there either. And then after we're done with this, we'll go ahead and pull in our anomaly and get our, uh, get our reward. And of course, we're going to check to see what's available in the Quicksilver store, just to see how we're all doing with that. Looks like our hyperdrive is also out of fuel. Looks like our pulse engine's almost out of fuel. Good grief. Everything was empty on this ship. That's sad. Really should be taking care of the, uh, ship a little better than that. I don't, as you can imagine, I don't fly this guy too often. I do prefer my Sentinel ships. I do like them a lot better. They're a lot more fun. But, for anomaly missions, we'll stick with this guy. Alright, so this is not an approximation. This is an actual contact location. Okay, extend out our solar panels. I love that about this ship. It's so cute. All right. Sir, I need to speak to you about bones. Life forms visor twinkles. They seem pleased to see me, but less interested in my company than the prospect of analyzing the bones I've ex excavated. I'm going to show some samples. Selects a sample of bone matter, swiftly analyzing it with a module built into their carapace. Returning the bones, they transmit the scan directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And our mission is complete. It only took us a half an hour. How sad. But it went faster. But who knew that I would have found a bug at the same time? Eh, we'll just go ahead and use our thrusters. I'm not even going to bother pulse engineering out of here. And there's our anomaly. Here we go, folks. Excellent. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We kind of try to keep it lighthearted on this channel. I really appreciate all the well wishes from everybody. Thank you very much. And the last, uh, from the last video I did. Family's doing fine. Uh, this particular version of COVID is nowhere near as bad. But it's... It's just very uncomfortable, is, what, is all it is, really. So, But thank you again. I appreciate it. Here we go. And we're going to complete the mission. We get ourselves our 1800 Quicksilver. And as I always say, yeah, I'm hurting for Quicksilver, of course. But it is what it is. Because I always do my Quicksilver missions, and I've been doing this every weekend forever now. So... Quicksilver, we're going to check what exotic items are available. So it looks like the Universal Heartbeat decal is now available. Kind of like that. That's kind of a neat decal there. Although I really like what this one looks like. Of course, when you highlight it, it's it's defective right now. But I'm really liking the skull on there. That's really, really cool. Looks like we're really partially way into Tier 2 already. Which is really interesting. They seem to be going quickly. Last weekend we barely started this. Now we're this weekend we're here. Next weekend we're guaranteed to be in tier 3. The way things are going. So yeah, that's that's a thing. That's a thing. So I'm uh, pleased with how fast it's going. And that usually means as soon as these are done. It could possibly mean an update. And I know a lot of people have been talking about it. And people have been wondering. Where's the update? There's going to be another update this year. Hey. Your guess is as good as mine, folks. I don't know. And you know what? I'm having fun playing the game, so I'm not going to worry too, too much about whether Sean and his gang are going to come out with the update anytime soon. I'm just enjoying what we've got already. So I want to thank you all for watching today, and please hit that like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you again in the next mission. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you over the weekend.